to my channel, Sugar Raquel. What's up? What's good? What's happening? It? I hope you have an amazing day. Thank you for coming to hang out with your girl. You're awesome. Today I have my November favorites all right here, and I'm gonna show you what you'll need in your life. <sighs> Y'all, I was dancing and I'm all out of breath now. Before we get started, please subscribe down below and don't forget to click that bell so that way you can be notified of my next video. And let's get started. Let's get started. So let's talk about eyeshadow palettes first because I have three of them. I did a video on the Nikita and Morphe palette. I love this. I love the theme. It's like a video game and you guys, Look at that color scheme. It is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Like these two top rows scream fall. I did create two looks on my channel. I'll link that down below so you can check it out. Amazing. I love this palette. Drop it like it's hot. Drop, drop it like it's hot. So this next palette is from a small business. Support your small business. It's an indie brand called Venture Lashes. And oh my goodness, look how beautiful this woman look. This is the Earth Goddess palette. But wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Bam! Oh my gosh. Like ever since she came out with this palette, I knew I needed this in my life. I love this palette. So pigmented and it's just the quality is amazing you guys. Definitely go check out Venture Lashes if you haven't already. The CEO is so sweet. She is so nice. She has been supporting me for a very long time now and I was so happy I was able to buy this palette and support her as well. But eyeshadow looks are coming so stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Team Nike. Now, I did get this palette at Foresight a little later in the month, but I've used it three times and I cannot get enough. Like this palette, oh, chef kiss, chef kiss. This is the Raw Beauty Christie palette with ColourPop. She's beautiful, she's amazing. I've raved about this palette so many times already. Check out the video. I have two eyeshadow looks already created with this palette so you can see how it performs. Oh, I love this palette. This is my favorite out of all three of the palettes this month. So I have some oldies but goodies. You guys know I love this formula. These have been in my favorites countless times over and over and over again. This is the e.l.f. Primer Infused Bronzer in the color Perpetually Tan. And then this one right here is the Primer Infused Blush. And I think this one isn't always rosy. Oh my gosh, I just noticed that my sticker is gone. It's missing. Who are you? I don't even know who you are anymore. These are amazing. I want to order two more shades from them and I'm hoping that Cyber Monday they'll have a good sale because Elf didn't do anything for Black Friday. Oh wait, no, I'm lying. I just lied to you. They did. They had 40% off, but I'm hoping that they'll go on sale on Ulta's website so, you know, when I spend my chonchos, I can get my points. So I'm hoping that they'll go on sale, but if not, I'll probably have to order it on Cyber Monday. I am so upset right now, you guys. It said it was recording. I put my SD card. I was done with the video, and it said it wasn't recording. <sighs> Thought I was done for the night, you guys. It's 11 p.m. This is my third video I recorded for today and I thought I was done. I was so proud. You guys, these highlighters are the bomb. These are life changing. I love them so much. I've had these for quite some time now. These are the butter highlighters from Physician Formulas. This first one is broken, so I'm just gonna put it in there. But this is like the gold color and this one is called Champagne. Oh my gosh. So stunning. This next one is called Pearl and you guys, so beautiful. I mean, it looks white, but it actually has a little bit of like an iridescent to it of pink. And the last one I have here is in the color Rose Gold and I just can't get enough. I cannot put these down. I have to say these are probably the best drugstore highlighters on the market. It feels so wet, like when you touch it, it's like a cushion butter, it's amazing. And look at the swatches. Oh, so beautiful. Goodness, it's so blinding. Oh, I'm obsessed. 
So I won these two in a giveaway and let me tell you about them. So this is from Cara Beauty. This is their waterproof liquid liner and it is a, like a felt tip and I never buy these. I never grab them, but wow am I impressed. So that is that swatch right here. This black swatch, that's just one swipe and I'm telling you it lasts all day and this is not drying. Like you can apply liner to both of your lids and it doesn't dry. You don't have to shake it, you don't have to close it. And then this is a mascara, it's called Lashishawas, Lashuas, Lashuas. Lashes. I think that's it. And I don't put mascara on my top lashes. If I'm not wearing falsies, then your girl is just gonna be bald headed. I don't care. But this is what it looks like. And I have been loving this for my lower lashes. Like you can apply it and it dries so quick. You can go in with a second coat, but it doesn't get clumpy. It separates my lower lashes so nicely and it does not flake at all that's what i love about it that's amazing because i feel like every mascara i've used has flaked on me these are the last two makeup products i have this has been my go-to fall lippy i cannot get enough so i don't know if you remember in my last favorites two youtubers that i started watching mentioned the mac chestnut i think that's the name of the shade but when i ordered from ulta it wasn't in the box and i'm still waiting for them to ship me a new one but i did buy this la girl lip liner in the color chocolate that's that line right here and i am obsessed and you guys know I love my Ofra liquid lipsticks. These are my ride or dies, okay? The formula is incredible. And this is in the color right here, swatch underneath the liner. It's in the color Ball Harbor. And this on top of that liner, match made in heaven. All right, I had to go get my journaling bucket. This is her right here. I know it's massive. It has a whole bunch of pins, stickers, tape. You guys, I have been journaling, which I've told y'all already. This has been one of my favorite things to do. And this journal, look how beautiful. I got this from CVS and I used my 40% off discount. This is what it looks like. I did skip a few pages and then I started my journal. But oh my goodness. So I use these stickers right here and I'll put the day, the month, and all of that information. And look at this. This is from one day one this is my first journal oh i love it so much and then i started actually using some tape that i bought from amazon and i started taping out the the front the bottom and the top and oh i just love it so much i also have this space right here where i was writing down like my youtube schedule and then my youtube video ideas and what i need to edit writing down helps so much you guys i really recommend it if you don't but yeah I have been loving this journal. I thought about maybe reading you what's inside of my journal for a series. So let me know if that's something you are interested in. And then, you guys, I'm obsessed with pins, okay? So I got some llama stickers right here that me and Morgan bought when we went to Michael's. And I have these pins as well. We got these from Michael's. I think they were a really good deal. I can't remember. I think like $13, I want to say. But I love, it's a felt tip pin. But then I also bought these from Five Below for $5, y'all. Oh, I love these. These are like the paper mate ones. But if you have a Five Below, go get them there. $5 for all of these. This is 16 pins. And then I got these Michaels. I mean, I got these stickers from Michaels. And this is where I get like the days, the months, and the numbers. They're all on there. And then I have all these right here. These are tape. This is the tape I use for the top and the bottom of the journal. I got these from Amazon. And then I also have these pin markers as well that I got from TJ Maxx. I got me and Allie some matching pins. But yeah, this is just a whole bunch of pins and like tape and stuff. And I keep it all in this little bucket. And then I 
sit down and write at the end of the day. We're gonna go ahead and move on to TV shows. You probably guessed it, Girlfriends. Yes, we are on season eight. We're on the last season of Girlfriends and I'm not ready for it to end because I've heard that the way it ends sucks, so. <laughs> I've already went through that, okay? With The Secret Life of American Teenager, did they even try? Like that final episode, the ending, just that ending scene, trash, garbage. My other favorite show right now is Sister Sister, Can't Get Enough. Oh, just takes me back to my childhood. And I swear these shows, they have picked the perfect people to play those characters. Like I can't see anyone else being William or Joan or Roger. Go home, Roger. Like he's the perfect person to play that character. <laughs> Okay, so music. This month, I cannot get enough of two albums. And when I say I've been re-listening to them over and over from start to finish without skipping a track, I'm not even joking. So the first one is Ariana Grande. Oh, her Positions album is amazing. I feel like that's a given. Wow, 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 wow. And the second album is from Xavier Omar. If you have not checked him out, Go do it right now, cause this album he came out with, it just speaks to my soul. It is R&B and man, I love him. He outdid himself and I feel like he has slept on. I have been listening to him since Blind Man came out, that song, and I believe that was in 2016. You've probably heard some of his music because I do use them on some of my Instagram videos. I can love you with my eyes closed. I'm so down for you, girl. I'm so down for you. All right, you guys, that is all for my November favorites. We're moving to December. It's began to look a lot like Crip Moon. I hope you had fun watching today's video. If you haven't already, please subscribe down below. Don't forget to click the bell so that way you can be notified of my next video. Wash your hands, wash your booty, and remember, be awesome, stay awesome, all day, er day. Peace up, A-Town, down to the ground. To the, to the ground. To the ground, to the, to the ground. To the ground, peace out. Yeah, I wanna have me. Mm -hmm. I am mine. Wait, 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 I'm missing one. Uh, more R R B and B, R and B. What am I saying? Or R R. What am I? What's happening? <laughs> Hola, Buddha. Quick question. What's that song? That ass shaking song where if it comes on, every girl's gonna wanna um, shake her booty. Oh, I can't even that think. <laughs> there it goes. That what it's called. Back that ass up. Yes. Oh, I knew you were gonna know.
Got it, 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 got it,